Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest and welcome to Morro Creek Ranch. Just outside of Morro Bay in the central coast of California, I am standing here at an avocado ranch and it is an incredible experience to be able to be amongst the avocado trees and seeing them actually growing on the tree themselves. I'm excited to be looking at avocado as an incredible dye source. It's a very popular way to make beautiful pinks and peach colors from the skins and the stones. So I'm excited today to be out here in the orchard, but also to be heading into my dye studio to begin the process of showing you how to very easily make a wonderful dye out of the remnants of what you might make guacamole with. So the other exciting thing I want to share with you is that here on Color Quest, I am opening up my very first digital course. And the digital course is a sort of natural dye 101, but it focuses on using avocado dyes to make an ombre style dip dye scarf. If you are interested, there's information below in my description and a direct link so you can read more about the course and hopefully sign up. It's a fantastic 17 video series, which gives you a full spectrum of information about how to successfully naturally dye and also has a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a dip dye ombre project. So you can do it with a scarf or you can do it with any textile. Otherwise, let's dive in, chop up some avocado, make a little guacamole and get to dyeing.
So be sure to start saving your peels and pits and know that you can actually throw them into the freezer and save them for the future. You only need a few pits to be able to dye as much as four or six ounces of textile. Remember, the ratio should be about a one-to-one -one dry dye matter to dry textile. You'll notice that I use baking soda in there, and the reason I did that is because I find that it makes the dye a little bit more pink. The one awesome thing about avocado is that it is rich in tannins, so if you aren't able to mordant or pre-mordant your textile, you will be able to create still a beautiful beautiful shade of pink. So don't forget, the link to my new digital course is down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to write a comment below or reach out to me. My email address is in my about page here on ColorQuest and I can answer any questions that you may have. It's a great place to start or even refresh your knowledge about how to have a dye practice that is focused exclusively on natural colors and organic matter. Next time on Color Quest, I'm actually going to be sharing a wonderful mordant option that's a little bit more accessible, and that is a soy milk mordant. Thank you so much for being here. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. That allows you to be notified every Friday when I have new content. Super happy to have you here. Look forward to seeing you next time on Color Quest at the Moro <laughs> at the Moro Creek Ranch, which is an avocado ranch.